Hello, I'm Theo Black. And I'm Sarah Black. And here is our review in under three minutes for A Man of Integrity. No spoilers. A goldfish farmer in a rural Iranian village could lose everything if he doesn't give up his values and give in to the corruption around him. I really like this movie. From the title, you know what this movie is about, and it never loses focus. One of the first scenes has our main character meeting with a banker. Our main character's farm is in financial trouble, and he'll get out of that financial trouble if he just does some shady kind of under-the-table deals with the banker. Right. And he won't do it. And from then on, every single scene is pretty much this choice between losing his values and his integrity and how he sees himself as a man in exchange for improving his situation in life and the situation of his family. Every scene and every person in this movie is facing similar struggles. That is how you learn his character, really, and even the character of his wife or some of the other people in the movie. They have to make choices, and he, in particular, is constantly making choices between two things he doesn't want to do. He never gets, like, a good option. No. In fact, sometimes the choices are even taken away, and now he gets two even worse options. To, and it's Usually that's what happens, actually. <laughs> yeah. And it's unrelenting. And the, the filmmaking also reinforces this. It's really well composed. I kind of wish it was more stylized, but you always get him in the frame. In one shot, he's against the railing of his, like, porch for his house, and he's against the railing. It's exactly what it looks like, and it feels like, and the whole thing. And it just reinforces what it's doing, and I really like that. There's even another scene where he's, like, trudging down this, like, river thing. He's just trudging down it, and I'm like, ah, yes, movie, I get what you are foreshadowing here. I but get it, it also ties into the plot. It's not just there no, no, it's, as it's... a symbol. It, it means something. And there's some great locations in this movie, too. Yeah. In particular, there's this room... And I'm not sure what it is, but it's clearly the Iranian village equivalent of the Old West Saloon. It's like a tea house or something. I don't know. It's but great. It was neat. Yeah, it's, it's, um, this movie has so many layers. Layers are good. I like layers. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't think this movie is getting a theatrical release. If you find it in a theater near you, you should see it. If you find it on streaming, you should see it. It's good. It's definitely worth looking for. If you did have a chance to see this movie or you just want to talk about Iranian cinema in general with us, you can find us on Twitter. Uh, potentially with spoilers? You can find me at Pigeon underscore Sarah. And me at Pigeon underscore Theo.